Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Grudge Marks update for Vermintide 2, kind of giving my first impressions on that, my thoughts, potential feedback, and just kind of what I think in general. Um, before that though, I would urge you to subscribe to this channel if you are new here, leave a like on this video, and possibly join my Discord if you want to. Got like 800 people in there, love to play Vermintide, and you're gonna need somebody to beat all those challenges with, right? So why not join us? Without any further ado, let's get right into this video. So this update was a much bigger one than I had anticipated. Um, I thought we were just getting some like kind of modified monsters, but it's a lot more than that actually, which is really good. So we'll start on the Chaos Waste side of things. The Grudge Marked Monsters, right? How do they work? What are they? So Grudge Marked Monsters, are monsters with a random set of attributes, could be anywhere from zero to three, depending on the difficulty and at what point you are in, in the Chaos Wastes expedition. So a Kata run is gonna start with a monster with one attribute when you get a Grudge Mark monster every time. On Legend, you're gonna start with either a normal monster or you're gonna get a Grudge Mark with zero attributes. And as you go on, they get more and more attributes all the way until the final part where you have two monsters at once and those can be grudge marked as well hate to break it to you um or happy to inform you if you're someone who likes uh, punishment because it's really hard but it's very fun so in total there are 10 different attributes and no monster can have more than three at once but depending on what they are it can be kind of a cakewalk to holy crap this is damn near impossible so the range and the variation of difficulty, um, depending on these attributes, is something that I like because, you know, there's only so many monsters in the game of Fermented 2. I think there's five, right? And fighting five of the same monster over and over again kind of gets boring over time, kind of gets like a little bit too easy as you familiarize yourself with their attack patterns. So this is something that kind of spices it up, and I really like that. Legend, in my opinion, is the difficulty that scales the best with these grudge marks because you start in that first area with a if you get a grudge mark monster it won't have any attributes now those monsters are naturally tougher they're like a lot more resistant to stagger i think they have a little bit more health or something um there's things that make them stronger than a normal monster but without any attributes it's not so bad because when you start in chaos waste you know you don't get any power you don't get any whatever you need you know there's there's not much you start with so it can be very hard that first location is really hard and as you go on that gets harder but you get boons and you get uh you know properties and stuff so it becomes a bit more manageable and that is what scales very nicely whereas cataclysm you're kind of just thrown into the into the shit you know and it's hard there are a ton of new challenges to complete within the chaos wastes uh for each and every character so plenty to do lots of um, reason for you to play the chaos waste and to get these rewards this is what they were talking about when they said like color skin variations i thought that just meant like they were going to be oh you know the armor is going to be purple now instead of red no 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 these are like whole new fresh looking white and gold type skins that uh they're you know it's a lot of work to unlock them like it's probably going to take me like a week to get these because you have to defeat uh, certain types of grudge mark monsters with certain characters and it's it's just going to something that takes a while it looks like they're going to be pretty freaking cool so kudos to fat shark for actually doing something cool for people who don't want to or maybe don't have the means to spend 30 dollars on the premium cosmetics and for those of you wondering about just the normal side of the game, the regular runs, Helmgart, uh, Bogenhaven, Rackenfells, all that good stuff, there's plenty there as well. New challenges as well that unlock some uh, weapon skins, as well as a few new frames, which is very cool. Frames are something in this game that I absolutely love. I've said it before, but I wish they were sold at the cosmetic shop. I just kind of wish that was something that was a thing but you can earn them here so any opportunity we have as players to get new frames i'm all for it and it looks like they've introduced something new for the uh, gamma snack i'm sure i'm saying that wrong sorry 
for you people that know how to say that um event on uh certain maps there will be like rituals and you have to disrupt the ritual and pick up a skull that will be placed in your fourth inventory slot normally where you would hold a grim and by holding this it turns all the enemy's eyes green and it makes them much much tougher to fight i'm not sure if it buffs them or if it just weakens you i feel like it buffs them but it makes the game incredibly more difficult now you have to finish the map with the skull obviously to get credit and get these weapon skins and frames and stuff you can do it on recruit obviously if you don't, you don't have to do it on like cat or legend but i've got like you know maybe almost 2600 hours in the game currently i'm a pretty good player of this game and i was doing this on kata with bots and it was damn near impossible so i tried it on legend with bots and it was still very very difficult i even did it on legend with a couple of friends who are also not too shabby themselves and it was still a decent little challenge it's an interesting little thing that they did for this event and it just makes the whole atmosphere of the game kind of come alive like the fact that all that every single enemy's eyes they turn green instead of you know for rats it would be red normally and for the chaos it'd be like that white color they all turn green it just get i don't know it's something about it. it just gives a little like spooky uh kind of feeling and i really like that as far as the premium cosmetics go they're wonderful um every single one of them i think is wonderful Huntsman's, uh, he's got like a, a skull, like a, some kind of animal skull, like an ox or a bull or something on his head. Could be just be a cow, honestly, on his head. And then a, a nice little, uh, almost poncho-like armor with the fanciful uh, pants. Slayer is basically just a pirate. He's got the tricorn hat, an eye patch, a little peg leg, which is hilarious because he's so short. So it's basically just like a little cork. Like a, it's like a thick cork for like a big bottle of wine or something. It's it's hardly a, a peg leg. It's uh, adorable to look at. He's got some side arms that kind of drape across his chest. Handmaidens is something that's <laughs> very interesting. Um, her armor I think looks amazing. It's that like it's like a dark blue color and it's got these cool uh, elven symbols all over it. But then the <laughs> helmet piece and I know this is like in line with the lore and this is how they look but it's just, it just looks so silly it's like this big fucking if you've seen the movie indiana jones and the kingdom of the crystal skull it's like she has a big crystal skull with a big red gem right in the center of it it's hilarious i love it zealot is probably the best skin if you want to get one single skin in this game uh from this pack i would recommend zealots he, he's it's just so cool. I mean, look at it. He's got a dead. He's got like this fish on his head, strapped to his fucking head that flops around. It has physics, by the way. And then he's got like no clothes on except for like a little bit of shit he threw together, and then the sign of repent on his back, some skulls, and just some crazy fucking shit. It looks amazing. And then Sienna's is, is is probably the more uh, the most modest of these. You know, she's got like a fire pit on her head, which is you know. Sienna's headwear at this point has kind of just become a meme within the community, you know. Uh, there was the lampshade and now the fire pit. And, but her armor looks really nice. It's kind of these, like, fiery colors. And, you know, it just, just looks almost like a, a renaissance-type piece of clothing. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it better than that. But all these cosmetics are really cool in my opinion. I'm also not sure where to throw this in in this video, so I'm just gonna insert it here as in like wherever i do this but there's this uh moonvo skin in chaos waste that looks absolutely gorgeous but they haven't really talked about it and i don't know i don't know if it's something that was forgotten like they tested it in chaos waste and they forgot to take it out but it's like this it's it's almost like a winter event type skin like it looks like an icicle bow thing it looks really cool um so yeah make if you upgrade it to red in Chaos Waste, you get that. Um, I haven't seen, you know, something like this for any other weapon. So if you guys know the answer to why this is in the game or whatever, uh, please leave a comment because 
I don't know where this came from, but it looks dope. Now, if you guys like this video, again, please subscribe to my channel, leave a like, leave a comment, and hey, join my Discord if you want to, um, you know, like, hang out.